Welcome and namaste. Today's class is a more chill restorative one. It's a nice one to do first thing in the morning if you're feeling kind of groggy and not like doing a whole rigorous class. So to set up, you'll start by grabbing a blanket and folding it three times like that and placing it at the base here. If you don't have a bolster, uh, a couch cushion or something else resembling one works just fine. And then two blocks, one on its lowest setting and then the other on its tallest. Just to support the bolster here. You'll sit your tailbone up to the very edge of the bolster. slowly recline all the way down. And once you get here, your arms or shoulders might feel kind of funny, so play around with your positioning, maybe scooting down a little bit if you need. And then bring your awareness into your hips and your legs. Notice if the shape that you've taken is comfortable. And if it's not, just adjust to something different. Take a handful of clearing breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. your inhale in for a count of four and release it out for the same count of four find as many of these clearing breaths as you may need to settle into this restorative shape, supported recline. them behind your head, just cupping the crown, letting the elbows sway out to the side. up overhead behind you and allow your eyes to open up. Stretch the legs out to you. Right and flex the toes, circle the wrists and the ankles. And whenever you are ready to 
come out of this shape. Just begin to tuck the legs back into yourself. Place the hands by your seat and slowly press yourself up. From here, grab your bolster. Move your blocks out of the way, placing them at the front of your mat for later. And then put your bolster back down. If it's going too far off of your mat like it is for mine, you can adjust by moving your blanket down. Allow your legs and knees to stack kind of loosely. They can be together, far apart, however feels comfortable for you here. And find the edge of your left hip sitting up against the bolster. With a big breath in, reach your arms up overhead. Turn your torso, chest and all, towards the bolster. And then as you exhale, lower all the way down. You are welcome to turn your head in either direction, either to the left or to the right. As you settle into a supported twist with your bolster, find that steady pattern of breath again. Always returning back to this, inhaling for a count of four, exhaling for the same count of four. Your mind may wander as you are in these more passive postures. There's more space for the mind to think of random memories or remind you of all of your tasks. Know that this is normal. Feel free to entertain these thoughts and ideas, reminders. But when you've had enough of the, the noise and the chatter, just bring yourself back to that steady pattern of breath, following the sound as it travels in through the nose and out through the nose. As soon as you feel the body begin to soften, just stay there for a few more breaths, really soaking all of this in. your hands beside your bolster, walking them into yourself. Slowly press your chest off of the bolster. And let your neck 
stretch out, drawing your ear from shoulder to shoulder. Gentle half circles. Slowly switch your sides. Just turning on Stacking the legs once more. As you take a breath in, reach your arms up overhead. Turn towards the bolster and exhale. Lower all the way down again. Continue to follow your breath. Next, inhale, begin to press into the hands, drawing them into your chest. And lift yourself up slowly, and taking lots of time, never rushing. A great time to remind yourself that you can stay in any of these postures for longer, even if they said to come out and vice versa, something's not feeling quite right. Come out at any time and choose something different. When you are ready to find your way back, take your smaller bolster if you have a thinner one. Otherwise, if not, Blanket works just as well. You'll unfold it so it's in a rectangle and roll it up. Try not to roll your mat into it too. And ta-da, same for same. So to set up right against your tailbone, Again, just like before, lower your spine all the way onto it. Your entire head and neck should be supported. So if there is a, uh, a gap here and your head is hanging off, take one of your blocks or another blanket and place it underneath that gap. beginning of our practice with the recline setup. Take a moment to bring awareness to your hips. Notice the legs, maybe the 
way you entered into initially isn't the most comfortable. Try something different. Rest your hands onto your rib cage so that you can feel the physical movement of the breath. And let your eyes close too so that you can shut out any physical distraction. As you inhale, let your belly puff up like a balloon. And feel the space of the rib cage lift and expand. And then as you exhale, notice the sense of the belly drawing in, rib cage knitting together. Continue to follow this pattern, noticing the expansion and the contraction of the lungs. more breaths, really starting to tune into the sound of the breath, so jai, so as you are taking your breath in and out, count of four in, count of four out, begin to draw the muscles, the back of the throat together, just creating a sound like fogging up a mirror. And apply the same restriction as you breathe out. And to find the sound first, if you need to open the mouth, that's fine. But once you've found it, allow the mouth to close. Just internalizing the ujjayi breath. On your next inhale, begin to plant your feet. Point the knees upwards and tilt the tail so that it points towards the heels and set it back down. Place your hands beside your hips. Lift the chest up. And slide off to one side, moving the blanket out of your way. Spread the shoulders out, let the arms rest wide. Let the left leg straighten out. Draw the right knee into the chest. And let the knee open to the right side. Drop through the center to the left. back through the center. Open knee to the right. Back through the center and to the left. And 
safer, supportive lifts. Adjusting your shoulders again if they need to. You may rest onto a block, a bolster, blanket, whatever you have available. breath in through the nose, empty the breath out through the mouth. So return onto the back, plant the feet, point the knees upwards. Draw the lower belly in, adjust your tail, flattening the lower back. Side, straighten the right leg out and draw the left knee into the chest. Let the left knee fall into the left hand and open to the side. Stay for a moment, come back through the center, and then off to the right side. Through the center and to the left. mind has wandered away from your breath and become distracted. And if it has, try not to worry, judge. Just simply notice what's occurring. Steadiness of Ujjayi once more. Adjust your hips. And 
you take two breaths here in a neutral spine before you move once more. Curl up to one side. And then press your way up into a seat. If you would like to sit onto a bolster or a cushion, you are more than welcome to take that. If you are comfortable where you are at, no need to add anything. Setting up a comfortable seat. You can adjust the flesh from out underneath your sits bones. And take a big breath in, puff up the lungs, the chest. And as you exhale, feel the ribs come back and together, engage the core, soften the heart. Slightly tuck the chin into the chest, feel the back of the neck lengthen out. To our next inhale, take your right hand to the left side of your head, slowly drawing right ear to right shoulder. And your hand is here not to press down, cranking the neck, but just as a gentle, subtle reminder, suggestion. This little stretch here through the neck. And slowly release your hand and then turn your chin down towards your shoulder. Head around a few times. And as you feel your left shoulder coming to the left ear, you can place the left hand on the right side of the face. Again, just gentle pressure, no pushing, no forcing. Begin to turn your gaze down towards your shoulder as you drop the hand. Nod your head, yes. And take those circles of the shoulders backwards and forwards. And one at a time.
with your next inhale. Set up for pigeon pose. And take your blanket and fold it over. Long skinny rectangle. But nice thick space for the hip to rest on, especially if you are like most people. And there is some space underneath the hip and the mat so you find your pigeon. So finding the hands and knees. Now take a breath in. Let your hips swing from side to side. Oh my God, any aches and pains. Draw your right shin forward behind your wrists. Bringing the knee out wider than the wrist here. And if you need some more clearance, you can come into a downward dog first to do this. Your shin isn't completely parallel, it's more at a diagonal, that's totally fine. Then take a look at the back leg. So you can see mine's kind of at a funny angle and my foot's sickling in. I'll take a moment to correct this before we go any further. And then underneath the right hip, place a blanket to add some support so that that space isn't so harsh on that stretch in the hip there. Now lean slightly forward just to find some length here in the back of the body and so you can relax the glutes. If you're clenching or holding into this space, just try to soften as much as you can. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. As you breathe in again, begin to sit up a little bit taller. Really feel the hips pressing down into the mat. Keep that sense of pressing hips downwards, lengthening through the spine, keeping softness through the glutes and the lower back. And come to rest here on the forearms if this is comfortable. By chance it is uncomfortable for you, your blocks are a great friend or your bolster to give you some height. And even if you know you're someone who likes to spill their chest all onto the floor for a pigeon, let's take a couple moments to try this out and just think about the last time you were in this space. Your practice is not about always doing the most, doing all that you can do. Sometimes it is, but it's good just to let your body do 60% of what you can do. Giving it a break, but also still using it in the same breath. By this time, your mind is probably completely checked out or got some strong thoughts going on, especially about the uh, sensations in the right hip here. Keep breathing through them. moment where you really want to leave the posture 
not because it's painful, but because it's kind of uncomfortable, that's where it really begins. How can you sit with this discomfort? Can you still breathe? Can you still remain in your center, in your peace? Press your way up. Take a moment to crawl the back knee in. Come to the hands and knees. Stretch the right leg out, curling the toes underneath. And give it a shake. Slowly lower down onto your belly. Create a pillow out of your forearms and place your head down. Let your hip shift to the right and then the left. And back to neutral. Lengthen the legs out, circle the toes in and then out. Give your legs a little wiggle. Tap the tops of the toes. Press into the hands. Make your way to the other side. Again, taking some more clearance if you do need it for this side. Bring your prop over if you need to use it here. Initially entering into it, taking a moment to slightly lean forward, soften into the glutes, the lower back. Relax your shoulders, make sure they're not crowding up into your ears. Nice long neck. And take a look at the back leg, making sure that it's where it's supposed to be. Again, hips pressing down towards the ground, lengthening through that hip flexor. As you feel ready to, slowly walk the hands forward. Resting your forearms wherever they feel comfortable, to the mat itself, or blocks, bolster.
hands and come out slowly. Sit onto the left hip and swing your legs in front of you. Moving all of your things out of the way. Have a block candy beside you. And a blanket underneath your shoulders if you'd like extra softness. Let yourself return onto your back. Take a deep breath in. And let it out. And to tuck your knees into your chest. And cross your ankles if you'd like. And gently rock side to side. and take your block on its lowest setting. Lift your hips and slide the block underneath. Allow your shoulders to walk together underneath you just to give some support to the chest and still firmly pressed beside you. Palms flat. Take a breath in and draw the right leg up and into the air. Point and flex the toes. Circle the ankles. Shake the leg out. Lengthen the leg all the way down. And then draw the right foot to meet the left. And repeat on the left, drawing the leg up. Lean and flex your toe. Shake the leg out. And lengthen all the way down. Now this time bringing both up into the air. If the block feels like it's pressing anywhere and it's uncomfortable, bring your legs back down. And readjust the block into where it feels comfortable. space. Allow a bit of softness in the knees if you notice that you're hyperextending. You want the legs to be somewhat active, but also kind of relaxed. Feel the blood begin to leave the toes, run down through the feet. Creating some pressure from the ankles that draws down through the legs, and back up through the torso and into the heart to be reoxygenated. a great way to do legs up the wall if you are unable to use wall space. It's all taken up by decorations or furniture. 
or if it's just not comfortable for you. Legs up the wall in particular is a great posture to relieve anxiety, stress, helps with insomnia, signals to the body that it is time to relax, restore. breath in, stretch the legs all the way out, and bring the knees in, and drop the knees, the feet back down towards the mat, slide the block out from underneath. Press your right knee over top of the left. Let the knees fall to the side. And then come back through the center. Uncross your legs and switch your sides. to the mat. With your next breath in, begin to situate yourself so that you are pulled up onto your left side. a moment or two here just to reflect back on your practice. Notice anything that may have particularly resonated with you. Keeping that and tucking it away for later use at your disposal. And when you are ready, press your way up to a comfortable seat. Gather your hands together at the center of your heart. This will conclude today's practice. If you would like to finish with Savasana or meditation, you are welcome to take that.